हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम हार्दिक पटेल वेलकम बैक टू आर टेक चैनल टुडे आई एम स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू सीरीज फॉर जेंगो चैनल्स बिफोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग जेंगो चैनल्स वी मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज वेब सॉकेट बिकॉज जेंगो चैनल्स इज ऑल अबाउट वेब सॉकेट्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो वॉट इज वेब सॉकेट वेब सॉकेट इज बेसिकली अ कम्युनिकेशन प्रोटोकॉल विच इज स्टैंडर्डाइज बाय डब्ल्यू okay and it provides us full duplex communication over tcp protocol that means it it has the facility it has the capability to communicate both ways client to server and server to client so let's go uh, and see how it works so as you can see in this architecture in this uh, flow diagram where left side is a client and right side is a server so first client post a request with few parameters headers called connection which has the value upgrade and what it wants to upgrade so it wants upgrade to web socket so basically once this authentication or hand checking is completed by the server so suppose a uh, server doesn't need any authentication in that case it doesn't need to provide any token or cookie or session right so in that case uh, directly you just post a request http with this upgrade uh, headers automatically server will understand this request is request is for web sockets and then it will open a connection so that connection will be open and that that is called a web uh, socket connection basically through that socket connection you can pass message from server to client and client to server and then Uh, client will uh, close the connection whenever it wants okay so that's how it works all right basically server also can close the connection so both way it can be done but to open the connection client must send a request to server so that means http request is involved in this web socket connections okay so let's talk about uh, some features benefits and drawbacks so you will understand more so what are the features and benefits comes with this uh, protocol as i said it is full duplex communication that means you can communicate both ways client to server and server to client and it also provides you a uh, unique resource identifiers which is ws and wss similar to http and https right so if your uh, if your site or if your server is supported with uh, tls enabled if it's a secure site then you have to use wss right and ws is for insecure connections then it also provides authentication similar to http request right but in this case you might not be able to use authorization headers but yes you can provide the token in the query parameters and also you can post into the cookie as well as session then one more benefit of this that is uh, it it is supported widely uh, to the all the browsers which are available in the market right now most of the browsers right so that is one more benefit so you can use without any worry about uh, un unsupported browsers okay then it also has generic syntax which is uh, for the uh, building a uri which is similar to http uris right same url you can use for this i mean syntax only one thing is not supported that is hash so hash you cannot use in the urls and using this uh, you kind uh, you can replace this long polling so uh, in some uh, before this web socket protocols uh, you have to you had to do long polling every 1 second you are polling something or every 2 seconds whatever time you want so at the at that time uh, you will update the data on the front end so still that was not real time it it can it can be said that it was re, uh, near real time but now using web socket protocol you can completely make it real time all right so and one more benefit of this uh, web socket that is http <coughs> takes 2 mb 2 mb of size of overhead so whenever you hit the request it takes 2000 bytes this is up to so it can be 
uh, up to 2 MB of header you have to <coughs> you can pass so that means that HTTP requests are little bit heavy then WebSocket so WebSocket takes only 2 bytes maximum okay all right and this is also uh, one uh, good benefit is that it is uh, supported by cross origin communication so because of that you will be able to use a WebSocket to mobile and everywhere right client can be anywhere so that is one more benefit then let's talk about some drawbacks that is browser must be HTML5 compliant because HTML5 only supports WebSocket protocols and that is not an issue because uh, currently most of the browsers are supporting HTML5 alright unlike HTTP you will not have the methods like post, get, put, delete, update, write or patch so those are methods are not available and also statuses are not available so you have to maintain those statuses by yourself in the data itself so you, whatever data you are passing maybe you can uh, attach that status in the data itself so that way you can uh, cover up but it says that statuses are not allowed so yeah that is one, one drawback over HTTP sometimes it becomes complex uh, if you have uh, multiple socket connections I mean multiple fun functionalities are working on the sockets sometimes it becomes complex to manage but it's not a big uh, drawback alright then as I said earlier that token authentication is not available through authorization header so you must pass that token authentication in the URI itself as a query parameter alright so whenever you do not have uh, do not have support of cookie or session in that case you must go with the token authentication right token authentication or any anything any key you have to pass through uh, query parameters so that can be uh, used by server and authenticated the request okay and authorize the request so that's how uh, you can uh, implement the token authentic token authentication in the websocket connections alright so that was all about websockets and as you know in this series we are going to talk about Django channels so basically Django channels is a websocket implementation for Django so you can write your own uh, sockets channels so it works on channels so you, you can write multiple channels suppose if you have uh, briefly if I talk about chat application so there are five chats are there five threads are there so you can start five channels right so that's how you can start the channels so we will talk about more uh, while we uh, implement the chat application using Django channels all right so that's pretty much uh, from this video uh, in next video we are going to talk about uh, what is Django channels and how we can integrate Django channels with the Django project and then we will uh, take it forward to implement chat applications so that's pretty much thank you very much and see you soon in the next video